Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, May 25th. This week, if you uh, want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But uh, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you. Ace of Swords, victory. I love that. King of Pentacles, definitely an increase in resources as well. So I like to see that. And uh, Eight of Wands, quick success. Love it. So this is looking pretty good. Empress as well. Now, a couple of people have had the Empress this week. Um, you know, the Empress can just represent kind of like improvements going from winter to spring. So I do feel like a lot of you could just be experiencing improvements or cha uh, positive changes in your life. So that's nice. Um, but let's see here. And all right. You start off with the inner peace card in this first row here. I feel like some of you are just getting inner peace with this row. You have the hangman, which can represent, you know, you know, it can represent sacrifice and being stuck and all these other things, Gemini, but it can also represent just, um, you know, kind of taking a break or taking a pause or taking some time to look at something from a different point of view. So I feel like really you're just gaining a new perspective with this first row here. And I feel like it probably leads to success. It could lead to a new job, new business, could be anything. But uh, next you have this hangman card here. Like I said, I feel like you're just gaining a new perspective. I feel like it's going to lead to either leadership opportunities or just a positive change looking at all the cards here. So whatever new perspective you're gaining, I feel like it's going to lead to success. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Swords here. So some sort of victory coming in for you here. I do feel like there could be some sort of cutting out here as well. Some of you may be experiencing a breakup. This feels like a side message to me. I feel like if you're exp experiencing a breakup, you saw someone's like shadow side or, or their true self, and it's like you didn't like it. So you have the shadow card here. We're going to talk about that at the end. Uh, such a weird message is popping into my head here, Gemini, as well. I feel like for some of you, it could be like one of those things where it's like maybe, um, you know, you saw someone in your life drinking, for example. And it's like, you know, sometimes people change in those moments. Sometimes people kind of like become someone different in those moments, right? So I feel like for some of you, it's like you saw someone's true self. It's like you saw who they truly were and you didn't like it. That's such a weird message, but uh, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> so I have to say it. For others, I feel like this is just a victory in your life, probably a workplace victory. I just get like presentations popping into my head or like I feel like some of you could be giving a presentation or showing something off at work. I feel like if you're doing that, by the way, Gemini, I feel like that will go really well. I'm also getting like the words like testing or tests or you know, something like that. So, you know, maybe you're like trying to get some sort of qualification at work. Maybe you're taking a test for work. Maybe I, like, I, f I feel like a million things here. Gemini, it's crazy. I've never had this happen before with this card, but I feel like some of you could be a test. For others, it's like, maybe you're trying to get a certification. Um, I, I'm getting like real estate tests, like all these things. So some of you might be taking some tests or something, or maybe you're studying for a test. If you're doing that, I feel like there's going to be a ton of success for you. I mean, just this bottom row is extremely successful. So I feel like there could be a lot of success there for you. Uh, for others, I'm getting the word patience on this card. I don't really consider the King of Pentacles to be a card of patience. I do consider it to be a card of like convention. So, you know, it's like a card of the way things have always been done in work or business or something similar. So I do feel like some of you could be kind of, it's like the way things have always been done here, Gemini. Uh, next, you have the Scarab Beetle card. This card says magic works through you. Uh, this card to me uh, represents a couple of things. Number one, the scarab mythology is that they were, they uh, roll the sun over the horizon. So it is kind of like a card of death and rebirth. And I do feel like some of you could be ex experiencing like a rebirth or you could be, I feel like you're more in the rising phase of something, if that makes sense. Like the sun is rising in your life. So I definitely like to see that. For others, I mean, these are basically dung beetles, right? They turn, you know, waste <laughs> we'll put it that way since i have to keep everything pg on youtube now and i can't swear uh, not that i ever did really but you know still um you know they take waste and they turn it into they kind of like fertilize the ground let's put it that way right so i feel like for a lot of you it's like you could be taking something that wasn't so great in your life and turning it around hangman by the way hangman to me can represent you know again gaining a new perspective it can represent taking a situation that isn't so great and kind of pulling out the positive from it uh, next, you have the Seven of Cups. Everybody getting the Seven of Cups this week. I do feel like it's a confusing week this week. 
this week has not been great um, as far as the readings are concerned. They just, to me, they've been boring. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, they've just been boring. That's all, that's all I can say, Gemini. So I feel like for the most part, it could be like a little bit of a boring week uh, for some of you, as much as I shouldn't probably say that, um, you know, but I feel like it could be boring. Seven of Cups just says, focus on what's important and you will kind of like have, you know, good things happen to you. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups is like a change in direction. Uh, to me, the Queen of Cups very specifically can represent a change in direction in love, Gemini. So again, for like, for, I only feel this for like one or two of you or just a few of you, basically. I feel like a few of you could be experiencing a breakup. It could be with a fire sign or an earth sign uh, here, Gemini. Uh, it could also be a Pisces as well. Uh, you have this inner peace card, two fish on this card. You also have the hangman, Pisces. So I do feel like for some of you, it could have been a Pisces and it could have been a breakup. For others of you not experiencing a breakup, the Queen of Cups to me is just saying, trust your intuition. And you also have this Eight of Wands here as well. So I feel like the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands isn't really a card of intuition, but it can be a card of receiving messages or uh, gathering details. Uh, so I feel like a lot of you could be receiving news or messages that could lead to success in your life. So uh, love that. I also feel like there could be a conclusion to something. So again, kind of goes along with the whole breakup thing. Uh, next, you have the Come to the Edge card. Uh, what's really interesting is Cancer gets this card all the time, Gemini, and you know Cancer is right next to you. So uh, I do think that's interesting, and you know also Leo gets this card as well, which kind of like shares the same part of the sky, you know, very close to your sign. So this card is about like pushing yourself outside your comfort zone just a little bit, not getting, you know, not being too crazy about it, not taking a huge risk in your life, but just kind of just pushing yourself to the edge. And it says if you do that, you will experience like faster growth in your life. Uh, next, you have the Emperor. I get bosses on this card. So I do feel like, and, and again, I don't attach sex to my card, so it doesn't matter if your boss is a male, female, whatever, uh, you know, whatever they identify as, doesn't matter. Uh, to me, this is just like the boss energy. I do feel like some of you could be dealing with that energy. I feel like for some of you, it's like, I feel like you want to break down structure is what this come to the edge card is saying here, Gemini. I feel like it's saying like maybe you're done with structure or it's like maybe you have worked in a corporate environment for too long. Maybe you want to get away from the corporate environment. Maybe you want to move towards something else. So I feel like some of you are trying to like get away from a certain environment here. Uh, next, you have the Three of Swords here. So I do feel like, again, some of you could be experiencing a breakup or a separation. For others, this could have to do with your emotions as well. The Three of Swords is actually just a card of emotions um, because it's raining on this card. You also have the Queen of Cups here as well. So some of you, I feel like, just need to you know keep your emotions on the positive side of things. I feel like that will lead to this right here, the Empress. So the Empress to me is a card of going from winter to spring. It's a card of improvements. Like I said, it's really weird because several signs have had this card this week. And so I feel like there's like a lot of improvements coming in for people in general. So I feel like this could just be improvements. Could also be a harvest as well. So especially, I feel like for those of you that have been working towards a specific goal or have been working on something specific like a job or a business or whatever, I feel like there is success or abundance coming in for you. I uh, also could say you're very attractive at this time. So if you're looking for love, there could be love. You have the emperor and the empress as well here. Uh, to me, those two are like divine counterparts. So, but you have the three of swords here. So for some of you, I feel like either you're going through through a breakup from someone that you know this could I, I would say this really isn't a twin flame situation and uh, I don't even like twin flames in the first place I think you know it's a, a whole crazy idea in the first place but um, you know this could be like a separation from someone who you feel like is your divine counterpart so some you could be like trying to come back together uh, the problem is I, I pulled this shadow card here Gemini. And I feel like this, uh, you know, again, this is an archetype card. It's more talking about the archetype of the week. So, um, you know, it's kind of weird that this message popped into my head, but I feel like you're seeing someone's shadow. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the clock behind my camera here as well, and it's 444 on the clock, which is pretty crazy. Um, that clock is actually wrong because it's actually like 11 o'clock in the morning right now, but um, it is crazy that I saw 444 as well. So that might be important for some of you, but um, I feel like this is saying that maybe you're seeing, you have seen the shadow in something. I feel like you are, you have seen the shadow like in a person. Like I said, um, the drinking thing popped into my head, which is weird. I'm not suggesting that you're with someone with a drinking problem or anything like that, right? 
But it's like maybe you're with someone when they drink, their true self comes out. Maybe it's not even drinking. Maybe uh, you know, maybe you overheard them talking to someone else, and maybe they didn't think you were around. And it's like maybe you're seeing how someone really talks to other people. You know, that happens to all of us, right? And, you know, we've all probably had that experience. So I feel like you're just kind of like seeing some things shadow. For some of you, I don't even know. Like maybe it's not even a person. You know, this could be like a corporation or a job you're working for. Maybe you're like uncovering information. That where you're kind of like seeing the shadow side of whatever it is. And I feel like you could, you know, be deciding you like it or you don't like it. You know, it could go either way. Um, again, you have the scare beetle, right? Death and rebirth. You could see, be seeing the darkness and the light in the situation that you're, you're in. So yeah, very interesting. Um, so let's clarify. We're going to clarify this with the uh, Lenormand here. And we're going to clarify in between uh, the hangman and the seven of cups in between these two cards you have the ship this card represents like a boat on the ocean it just simply represents going from one thing to another uh, this card is the ten of spades in the playing card reading system but it's not like the ten of swords you know the ten of swords is like a negative card uh, this card just represents some sort of change so i feel like some of you could just be seeing what you want again it, like i said the shadow thing it's like i feel like you are seeing what you truly want in life and maybe you're realizing with this hangman that certain things are not going to fulfill you or certain things are not going to fit into your life. So I feel like you're making a change. Um, next, between this Ace of Swords and this Queen of Cups, you have the Stork card, Crazy. The Stork is the Queen of Hearts in the playing card reading system. I do not read those two systems the same, but you could read the two cards as the same, so it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, this card can represent love coming in. It's also a card of movement as well, and you have the Ace of Swords. So some of you could be moving or traveling with these cards, but a very kind, caring, nurturing energy, just like the Queen of Cups. So I feel like there could be like a lot of kind, caring, nurturing energy around you. Uh, next, between this King of Pentacles and this Eight of Wands, you have the Child. The Child is about immature energy, but it's not about. It, it's not saying you are immature, Gemini. It is saying that something in your life needs to be matured. Something needs to grow. So I feel like if you're like starting anything new, I would put more energy into it because it needs to grow more. Um, if you're thinking about uh, getting into a relationship, again, allow the relationship to grow. This card, it just says like allow something to grow. It hasn't developed to its full potential yet. And that's kind of what's popping into my head here. That's not exactly what the card means, by the way, but you know, I read intuitively, so that's what I'm getting there. Uh, next, between the Seven of Cups here and the Emperor, you have the tower. It definitely could be some sort of breakup. The tower in the Lenormand, again, is different than the tower in the tarot. The tower in the Lenormand can actually represent momentum, and it can represent things speeding up in your life as well. So that's interesting. Uh, next, between the Queen of Cups here and the Three of Swords, you have the tree. The tree kind of represents your family tree. It represents going back to your roots, like back to where you came from in your life. So a lot of you could be going back to your roots, or you could be experiencing things from the past. But it's not like, um, this is not like the Six of Cups type of energy. This is like more an energy of, you could be thinking about when you were a child. You could be thinking about things that you wanted to do when you were a child. Maybe you wanted to be a, uh, you know, maybe you wanted to be a ballerina. Who knows, whatever it is. The Three of Swords could be coming up here saying, like in, with this Queen of Cups, this is very interesting now. You know, this to me says that like, you could be thinking about the past and realizing that you did not fulfill some sort of dream or you have not fulfilled something that you desire. So I feel like you could be thinking about that. And the good news is with this um, seven of hearts here, this tree card, you could be deciding to go back to the past. You could be deciding, you know what? I want to try to become a ballerina. I want to try to fulfill some sort of dream. So it's like, you know, maybe you can't do everything, but you know, I feel like in a lot of ways you are trying to fulfill some sort of dream here. Uh, and finally here between the eight of wands and this empress card, you have the mice. Um, a lot of readers read the mice as a bad card. Uh, in Lenormand. It is the seven of clubs in the playing card reading system. And a lot of people read this as a negative card. Really, it's just a card of slow progress. It just says that between the eight of wands and the empress, there could be slow progress. It's like maybe you're hoping for a harvest. Maybe you're hoping for a positive change in your work life or your business life or your love life. And maybe it's just, it's just happening a little bit too slowly. But um, really, it is a card of progress. It, you know, it's called the mice because mice chew through walls very slowly, but they do reach their goal. They eventually get through the wall, right? So I feel like a lot of you will be getting through the wall. 
Yeah, you have the bouquet here. I wanted to ask for an outcome card. The bouquet is the queen of spades, and it kind of represents like a reward or getting a gift from the universe even. So I feel like some of you are kind of receiving gifts at this time. But pretty interesting reading. It's been a weird week. Like I said, I don't know. I'm not very happy with the readings this week, <laughs> uh, personally. But um, I don't think they're bad. I just think there's just they're just kind of boring. So uh, thank you for watching, Gemini. I really appreciate it if you made it this far, right? And enjoy your week.